Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your Halloween bonus reading. I did a poll yesterday and you guys wanted to hear what is coming away between now and the end of the year. So let's dive in. Well, all right, Spirit is ready. You have the Angel of Balance. I will take one more. We have a lot of cards to go through anyway, so why not take an extra one? Uh, this is like the balancing of scales, understanding the balance of life with the action here is that yin and yang. Okay, understanding how to create a balance in your life, especially if you struggle with anxiety or if there are some worries that you have between now and the end of the year, you will be kind of learning how to balance this energy, learning how to understand that, okay, I can be worried about something, but at the end of the day, that's not going to change the outcome. All right, well, they again could be two separate uh, messages as well for you. Let's get you some more. All right, for Aquarius between now and the end of the year. Please, Spirit, what's coming their way? What they need to know? You have grief coming through. Some of you could be grieving. All right, this says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, regardless of whatever it is, okay? Let's get you some more. Sometimes these seasons can really make us quite reflective, and I feel like that's where that grief is coming from. You could be feeling like maybe this year wasn't the greatest. You could be feeling like maybe you went through a loss this year. Maybe you did. Whether it's financially or or anything. All right, well, this is very interesting. This is quite good. I do believe that uh, the next few months are really paving the way for 2024, meaning that when you have the Observer card with the By the Book, this is about you setting your intentions on something, you looking at something and observing something uh, in terms of being where you want to be. So whether that's a, a, a dream job, whether it's a dream location, a, a dream goal of yours, the by the book says that you are going to be led there. So this is a quite good advice here for you guys is definitely about manifesting what it is that you desire moving forward. So again, whatever it is, dream job, dream home, whatever it is, you are going to find some people who are going to take you there. It could just be your spiritual, your spirit guides, to be honest. The by the book says to kind of, one, I, I'm feeling cool towards saying for you, Aquarius, to trust your gut instinct. Your gut instinct is so strong for you guys and for the people I'm speaking to. Sometimes your anxiety may get in the way of that. Sometimes this is like the biggest blockage of listening to our intuition is overthinking it or worry. Like worry can really block your own thought process at times. You know, we think not very clearly when we're anxious and worried. So that's where the balance comes in. Um, that's where I feel like spirit is saying, like, follow where your gut is taking you. Follow where you have this impulse to go. Don't overthink it. Don't worry about it. Just see where it leads you. The by the book is also, again, about kind of following the status quo. This tells me that your dream is not that far out of reach, even though it looks like it. There are clearly people who have done it before. And if there are people who have done it before, all right, even if it's just one person, <laughs> then it means it's completely possible, okay? So this moon looks out of reach for the observer, but what you don't know and understand is that there is something that is happening in your current energy or that is already in your current energy, whether it's in the ethereal world, um, in the ethos, or whether it is something that you do have right now that is going to blossom into um, a pathway for you to get what it is that you want. So whether that's your current job is going to lead to something else, whether that is something that you're doing now is going to lead to something bigger, like whatever it is, something in your current energy, whatever it is, even if it's something you don't know of just yet, is going to blossom into something a lot better. And I do, I feel like 2024 is going to be your year. I don't know why, that's what I'm feeling. All right, let's see for Capricorn, please. Between now and the end of the year, you have a beautiful energy of healing. With the geranium, it's actually kind of my favorite plant, to be honest with you, because it's just so beautiful. But three and a seven is interesting because that goes to a 10 and that's about completion. So again, you are kind of ending a chapter here. You are getting ready for a new one. We have Aries energy with this card, as you can see. Which can sometimes be the emperor taking lead. Feels like you're healing something. Maybe your own blockages internally. Let's go into your tarot, then we'll pull more uh, oracles at the end. All right, but let's see. Healing could be with what you are grieving. Sometimes going through losses is what creates anxiety as well. So, you know, sometimes that could be what we're dealing with. Let's see. 
for Aquarius, let's see the current energy of the hermit. Could be spending a lot of time in isolation, wanting to be more alone, or just really reflecting and contemplating life at the moment and, and you know how far you've come and what you've been through. The hermit says that you're wise, you're an old soul here, Aquarius. You're the six of swords, definitely moved away from a lot of chaos. What your current energy is showing me is that you are out of the worst of the situation, may still be moving forward, may not yet have what it is that you desire in your life, but Six of Swords tells me that, you know, this is you moving away from the chaos in the middle of the journey towards moving towards something a lot more calm, all right? This, whatever it is that you went through definitely has taught you uh, a lot. It's probably a big reason why you are in the hermit, but some of you may have been through like a dark night of the soul energy which is again feeling very low very depressed going through a lot of things you know a bit of an awakening you know what is why am i here what's my purpose you know that kind of stuff it's, it seems like it's because of a conflicting environment that you were in that may have kind of become a catalyst for that or again some something that happened let's, let's see current energy please for aquarius Page of Pentacles, though. Some of you may have recently started a new job or you are about to. Page of Pentacles is a very good energy, regardless of how it resonates with you, because it's an apprentice energy. This is somebody, which is in your energy, um, who's willing to learn, who's looking into something to know how to grow, how to cultivate it. So there could be an opportunity coming away that you are going to take or may have already taken Aquarius that is going to really pay off for you in the future. All right, with that energy, but let's clarify this. I'm gonna pull all your cards out first for you guys this uh, this time. Let's see, for November, please, let's get three. Eight of Swords, all right, I will show you. Stuck energy, you have the Two of Pentacles with the Four of Wands, all right, making big decisions in November to lead you towards some sort of goal. Three of Wands, manifesting. In December, Temperance, that's harmony. Six of Wands, that's victory. Oh yeah, we leveled this stuff. And one more please for December. And the Queen of Pentacles, that's beautiful. I don't know if some of you guys do have like this like internal fear of like, don't speak too soon. Cause I felt like something said that to me as I was like trying to hype you up there. It was almost like something was like, don't, well, don't think that now, you never know, which sometimes can be beneficial. But I think that sometimes that is your anxiety of like, you might find it hard to celebrate some things in life because there is this worry. Like if I celebrate it, then I could, you know, someone might give me the evil eye or, you know, somebody, could ruin this for me like there is an energy of like anticipating the worst and that is very similar to that anxiety here so just like the angel of balance is coming through in your reading of course we can still enjoy things at the same time as be cautious and careful all right trying to find the balance between two opposing energies is 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 what creates um a balance in your life of course all right anyway let's clarify then the hermit so December is a great month for you. All right, but let's look at the hermit, please, for you and your current energy. Why is the hermit here? The Empress. Well, I like that. This, of course, is the mother of the tarot, okay? So that could resonate for some of you, if that's you or someone that you're dealing with. Some of you may have lost a mother this year, okay? And this is something that you are, you know, grieving still, because we do have grief here. My condolences to you or a grandmother. It's an Empress energy. But the Hermit and the Empress really feels like to me that you guys are gaining more awareness when it comes down to how to cultivate and create an abundance here. Uh, this feels like you might be glowing up around this time. Yeah, the three of pentacles here, you guys could be creating a plan to manifest something, whether it's your own business, or whether it is a home here, you guys could be decorating in the near future. Three of pentacles is about building a plan, building the structure of something so that it can be filled in, which makes a lot of sense with the empress here, because the empress is about, you know, attracting and not chasing. So this tells me that the universe is saying, if you create a plan, if you create a plan about what you want and desire and where you want to go, what you want something to look like, it will be fulfilled. You don't need to worry about how or when. The Empress doesn't worry about that. She just knows that when her crops grow, they'll grow. So there is an element here about having more faith in the universe and having more faith in yourself and what you are worthy of. That's what the Empress is about. She is an embodiment of love, 
of unconditional love, of beauty. She is ruled by Venus. So for a lot of you guys, it's about holding yourself at that standard of who you are and trusting that other things will fall into place. And the hermit here says that you may have had to learn that a very long and difficult way. All right. Let's see Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. You guys may have recently uh, dealt with some sort of deception here. Yeah, the Tower card, there definitely is some sort of separation between you and somebody else, all right? Where there was deceit or foul play involved. But the Wheel of Fortune, this does kind of feel like karma is coming through here. If you have been through a lot of difficulty, the wheel is turning in your favor here, okay? And this person is not going to escape their, their karma either. So that's something that some of you may need to hear with the moon, yeah. There may have been some hidden things that may have been the reason why something came to an end. It will be exposed like that. Even if it is not now, it will be. So, you know, that's just what it feels like. Five of Cups. This is some disappointment that you guys have been dealing with and reflecting on uh, lately. Let's see the Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. Some of you are working really hard. Just be careful of burnout here. Ten of Wands can sometimes be coming to an end of a journey and it feels like some of you guys might be, again, beginning a new one or actually seeing some results for some really hard work that you guys have put towards something. Let's get one more. The Justice. Some of you, this could be like receiving money or receiving a good contract. And if that is a good contract, Two of Cups here tells me this is the right person to sign a contract with, okay? Trust your gut feeling, of course. It feels like it's good. All right, in the month of November, we do have this Eight of Swords energy. That is that anxiety that we've been speaking about. This is feeling quite stuck, feeling quite trapped, feeling like your mind is kind of taking over, your emotions are taking over. Let's see. Eight of Swords, please. And smelling smoke. So you guys could be smoking. All right, you have the Three of uh, Cups here. Some of you, this might be like a really, you might be finding it quite hard to celebrate something. And that's kind of linking to what I was saying earlier for you, actually. And that is, it feels like there is something worth celebrating. It could be this contract here. It might be finalizing um, again in the beginning of November or whatever. This is celebration. This is gratitude. This is understanding we have some abundance. It may not be a lifelong supply, but it is still something. There is something good happening. The hyphen, again, is to do with some sort of commitment, whether it's a relationship, you know, they're being good in a relationship or whether it is to do with your work. There's something to celebrate, but the Eight of Swords is like, nope. <laughs> I'm scared. I feel still stuck. Let's clarify. What's this fear? Fear of success. It's the fear of being up on a high horse and being dragged the hell down. That's why I'm hearing. So if you're too scared to be proud about what you've done or what you're achieving, what you're fearful of, Mm, that's quite interesting, isn't it? What you guys can't see coming is that in November you do have a lot of success, but there is almost like an inability to see that because of some stress or anxiety or not being able to see past other problems that you have. You know, you were, you do have some good coming in, but maybe there is one thing in the back of your mind that maybe is what somebody did to you in the past that is just consuming your mind and you can't see the good things that are actually coming. So try to be uh, wary of that because Hierophon, Six of Wands, you guys are getting attention, recognition, it feels good, it feels something worth celebrating and it's like you're a bit stuck, like I can't celebrate this because of this, you know? Try not to do that. You have the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This looks like you'll be very busy in the month of November and there is some wish fulfillment because of that. Your hard work is definitely paying off. Let's clarify this. Do you have the Ten of Swords? So you guys could be ending something again or releasing something finally. Two of Wands to look into your future. We have two and two here. So that's about decision making, making choices. All right, thinking into your future, which is very similar to the Observer card coming through here. You guys could be in November really kind of thinking about what it is you want and desire. What's the Four of Wands here for? High Priestess. This is actually interesting. High Priestess is, again, your intuition. And it's to do with some sort of celebration here. So something that you knew was going to pay off is paying off. But now maybe your focus is, again, like this this Two of Wands is looking at that Ten of Swords. You're still looking at an ending, though. Ace of Cups. Oop, and another one just jumped out here. 
Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles. There's a feeling of not feeling loved enough and not feeling supported enough in your life, which I can understand why that is taking up a lot of your, your time or your energy here. Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold, maybe again, grieving some loss, whether it's financial loss, whatever. Ace of Cups is saying that there is an abundance being given to you. There's peace coming away. There's an overflow. As some of you need to hear that in the month of November, you've got to give into your own cup first before everybody else is. But you are going to be receiving good news and some sort of like achievement in November from your hard work. Could be money, could just be reaching a goal that you've always wanted to. But again, this, this heart situation is what's kind of blocking you a bit. Is there another card for this? Did I pull another card for this or not? Where is it? <laughs> or maybe I didn't. I'm confused. Okay, well. All right. <laughs> Usually I pull three for each, but I wanted to keep these two together because they came out together, but maybe not. All right, anyway. Moving into December, we have temperance here. So again, this is about finding that balance, which is beautiful. You guys will trust your instincts. This is you taking your time. This is you creating harmony in your world before moving forward on your path, which is amazing. You do have some spiritual and divine support in the month of December. So you may have your spirit guides there, people in spirit who are looking out for you. Some of you, it could be a father figure. All right. But the emperor is also you taking control of your life. Six of wands, again, is that two of pentacles. Again, you're getting even more achievement for what it is that you're doing, which is beautiful. Some of you are actually finally getting and enjoying that six of wands that you were scared to take in November. This is recognition, rewards, success, and it's all because you're now able to actually enjoy it, which is beautiful. All right, three of wands. Oh, the three of wands was in, there we go. <laughs> the three of wands was in November. So the three of wands represents that in November, you will be waiting for something, manifesting something. Let's clarify. And it may be to do with financial freedom. All right, find like independence in general, just loving your own company, feeling at ease, feeling able to kind of slow down and feeling stable enough to be happy in your own energy, which... In December, you're in the Queen of Pentacles. So how ironic that that's when I see this November card because I feel like it's linked to this. This is financial recognition. Okay, this is you being able to enjoy a luxury, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. Expect your finances to go up. This is also your skills and abilities are also improving at this time. You're getting a hard, you're getting a lot of results for what you put a lot of energy into. This, this says to me that you have stuck by the book. You've gone with what works for others and it's starting to work for yourself too. Yeah, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So December is incredible. We'd love to see it. So let's get you some more um, of these uh, Oracle cards for you. Let's get you one of these. For Aquarius, you have faith. And it's because you're holding on to faith and again, your spirit guides are around you here. That you're being given almost like options or help along your path here. Yeah, you know, people can hear your prayers. Your spirit guides can hear your prayers. They are there for you. And it's because you have stuck to faith. You stay consistent with something, with yourself, they're saying here, that you're getting some sweet results. All right, let's get some more mouse spirit this says tend to the small things and number four coming through again it's about the foundations of something that you guys are going to be paying a lot of attention to uh the, the mouse spirit can bring up that anxiety sometimes when we're overthinking each minor detail yeah then we can definitely work ourselves up on things that are not that necessary to be so you know afraid of or you know worried about uh some of you definitely could be perfectionists but it just feels like you sticking by the book, you doing what works, you doing the small things can build that kind of compound. Like, is that what it's like compounding? Like that small movement that you make every few days a week, whereas when you didn't do anything, now you're doing that a few times a week and then that compounds. Like you're seeing results for work that you're doing. All right, make sure we're looking at the details but not overthinking it. All right, we have something to do with February. All right, coming through for you, that could be your birthday, actually, Aquarius. We have teardrops, great personal sorrows, what you're going through. 
All right, time to get out of a situation that makes you sad. We have funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. It may not be easy, but you have thrown position of authority. You then have triumph over troubles and obstacles coming up for you guys. You then have wealth coming through for you. And lastly, you have stalk. All right, this is news of above or a new business opportunity. It seems like something that's going to give you a lot of financial recognition. All right, to you, my angels, I love you guys. I'm glad that there was a positive ending to your reading. By the way, you do have abundance at the bottom of the deck here too. And for some of you, you need to hear that sometimes your guilt of celebrating or your guilt of something is actually preventing your, your abundance. So some of you need to hear that very quick message. But anyway, I love you guys. Have an amazing Halloween. Let me know down below how you guys are spending it. I'm uh, sorry that the first few messages were not the greatest but i'm very happy that the ending was beautiful so yeah i send you my love i wish you all the best and i hope to see you guys next time all right